I just want to be very clear here. This this congresswoman, as the rest of the Congress uh, members as well, makes one hundred seventy four thousand dollars and wants an increase of almost five thousand dollars, which she says doesn't really count as a raise. Is this someone who is of the people or is this someone who perhaps is out of touch? This is the way that every democratic socialist thinks, right? Um, they're so obsessed with making sure that there are no wealthy people in society, except for them, of course, except for them. I mean, $174,000 by anybody's standards, uh, especially in places where where I've spent a lot of time in the Midwest and places like that. I mean, that is a massive amount of money. It's, it puts you in the top 15% of all earners. And that's just regular run-of-the-mill members of Congress. People like Nancy Pelosi make $223,000 a year. Year, that puts her in the top 5% of all earners. And so, I mean, does anybody in America think that these people are in are in need of a raise? I mean, they already make way too much money as it is. And if you were a democratic socialist, shouldn't you be calling for them to get pay cuts? Shouldn't they be earning just as much money as everybody else in America? Why do they deserve more money? Well, because they're the ruling class and they know better than we do, and they deserve more money than we do, and they get whatever scraps they're willing to throw us off of their table. That's the way this always works with socialism. Right. You're, you're exactly right here, and I want to be very clear. I do not begrudge. I think most conservatives, most, um, most of the American people, actually, not even conservatives, do not begrudge people who make a lot of money. Kudos to somebody who works hard and you know, is compensated for that. No one has a problem with that. I am not trying to castigate AOC for making a salary higher than someone else. What I am trying to say is that she wants us to be forced by the government to give our money to people who make less. And yet at the same time, she is not practicing what she preaches. And not only is she not giving her money away to people who earn less, she actually claims she deserves to be earning even more, which as we know is taxpayer money, which comes from our wallet. The, the hypocrisy is absolutely astounding. Yeah, it is. And it's also it's it's so it's so frustrating and really annoying in many ways <laughs> that she spends all this time talking about people like Jeff Bezos, these people who provide us with these services that we actually want. She doesn't like that they have lots of money. We're all willingly giving money to Jeff Bezos and people like that because we like the goods and services that they're providing to us. Does anybody like what Congress has been doing for us over the past, I don't know, forever? No. People hate Congress. People hate Congress more than any other group in society, practically. I mean, why should they deserve a raise? At the same time that she's running Amazon out of New York City because she thinks it's unfair that they're getting too much money and that and, and that uh, billionaires and millionaires aren't paying as much money as they should, Bernie Sanders owns three houses and has $2 million of net worth. I mean, this is, and he's made all of his wealth off of off of what? Off of taxpayer dimes and, and his book that he wrote, which which only sells because he's a congressman. 